it's nice to be able to review, and then it's nice to have uh, Michael right, right in front of us, and then we can try and jam some of some of our ideas and so on. Uh, it just happened that we were actually uh, we, last last time when we were preparing this class, we were actually thinking, actually management and creativity is actually a paradox. So so he actually bring that out where. Somehow you need to create things where you, you need to create economy of scale, which is what 19th century industrial revolution have been talking about. But now we are talking about information revolution, where, where we are we're talking about economy of scope, where each of the different customers can be created different products and different services that, that, that feed their needs. So that's how do we move and how do we generate that, 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 that uh, potential value that uh, Michael had mentioned. That's some, that, uh, some of the stuff. First thing. Second thing is obviously we're not at a EMBA or MBA. So I would, I would try not to, not to bring out too many uh, technical terms on businesses and so on. But I would actually be looking at the, using different cases to actually uh, share with you some of the idea that, that actually, very interestingly, that Michael had mentioned. And then and that it's all about making a difference. Creativity, I fully agree. It's about making a difference. If you just take one thing home, it's how do you make a difference? So creating differences is actually something that, 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 that we need to look into. And that's something that can be in your left part of your brain, which is all your logics and stuff and so on, and can be on the right, right, right part of your brain. So, so I would actually look into that and look into some of the how do you look into a product, how do you actually dissect it, and then look into how, to, how, how do you create difference, one way. Another way is how do you completely look into using new technologies to change how we retail will actually be focusing on. So today I would be actually talk, using our case, TSL, as a sample. So I will actually be talking about quite a few different areas and so on. So basically, as, as, as Michael had mentioned in his word, it's actually the uh, in search of ex excellence. You need to go into, I, I would call it retail as detail. It's, it's always looking into all the details, the the lam fan, how do you actually share your different things and so on. All those small things is, it's actually, is actually very, very difficult, but you have to actually create it. Otherwise, you cannot guarantee a quality. We have 200 shops in, Hong Kong, in, in China. We have 20 some shops in Hong Kong. We have about 3,000 uh, employees that we actually have a lot, most of them serving our customer. How, do you, how can you be sure that the service is the same? How, do you, how can you be sure that the quality of, of product that you offer is actually the same? How can you be sure that it's the same, but also be different every time? That's something that we would like to uh, look, look into. And I will actually choose a, 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 a few different topics to actually, to actually look into. I will come back to the slide. But the whole concept, again, it's about making a difference. So OK, when you are in, 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 in business, when you are in ret retailing, there might be a retailing 101 class in the MBA school. And then, and then basically, when, they, when, when, when you walk in, retail, it's always about just one thing. Oh, three things. It's about location. It's about location. It's about location. So retail, basically, it's about where you put your shop. And then, and then basically that's the whole concept. In Hong Kong, it's very, actually, actually very, very simple. When you actually go into, this is, this is our, this is, this is Google Map. Let me go to Google Map. Uh, I was all quite slow online. Okay, this is Google Map, and then this is Hong Kong. So, so when, we, when, we, when we look into the whole of Hong Kong, uh, we would actually, where, where would you guess the most expensive rent is in Hong Kong? Costway Bay, yeah, good idea. Any, any other guess? Huh? Central. Central, okay. Canton Road, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Another very expensive place, if you actually just count by square feet, it actually beats Ginza in, in Japan and, and Manhattan. It's actually in MK. This sector from, from Agalogai to about Yamade is actually the most expensive per square feet. Uh, rental in the whole world. Okay, if we tell it's about location, you, this is very, very expensive. You need to go there and then you need to beat for each, each small square feet and, 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 and so on. And think about it on Nathan Row. Who is on Nathan Row on that strip? Okay, the second strip is actually all the dinzi, all the, all the electronic things and so on. The first street is, is, is all the uh, for, uh, uh, learning guide, it's a, it's, a, it's a women's street. The fourth street is actually the, uh, uh, the uh, this, is, this is the learning guide. Tong Tong Shuai Gai, and then this uh, Fa Fa Yun Gai is the uh, is the sneakers. So the the Nathan Row part is actually the jewelry part. Think about it. Everybody's there. Zhao Dai Fu, Zhao Sang Sang, Lok Fu, and then Zhao Zhe Lin. Basically, shop shop after shop. And and when you look into it, this is a uh, look at our layout. You would actually see that within a very short strip, 
I, I searched for Jesuit. So we have a very short strip. We actually have a few, quite a few stores over there. There's the one overlap there. But basically, quite a few shops uh, we, have, we, have, we have over there already. Uh, already. And basically, uh, if, you, if you go on to Nathan Row, they took it when, before, before we opened. So, so we, were, we were here <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah, oops, too dark. Anyway, that's where we are. OK, so this is, this is part of the strip. But at the end of the day, if, if it's all about rental, then whoever has the most money would win, right? Whoever has the most money will actually rent, rent the, the, the larger space. And then the larger space actually means the larger storefront. And the larger storefront will actually mean so much, so much turnover, so much money, uh, so much people are go, going by to actually buy things and so on. So, so that means that if it's all about location, how do you make a difference? See, if, if, uh, again, the whole, my, my, my whole talk would be about making a difference. How, would you, how, how do you make a difference on, 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 on such, post, such very crammed situation where you need to invest a lot of money before you can actually get any returns and so on? OK, let's go back and then let's take a look at some of our, some of our, our idea. This is a project that we have done a few years ago. I call it Wong Gok Zui Zui Gek Sao, Snipers in Mong, in, in Mong Kok. It's a very interesting project that we have done. Uh, OK, within that free, that, that free box in, in, in Mong Kok, let's say during a Wednesday afternoon, where usually there's not much sales, uh, uh, when you are from China holding uh, uh, tourists in Hong Kong, holding a China mobile, uh, mobile phone, <coughs> and uh, you might actually receive a WhatsApp or, 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 or SMS message from us saying that, oh, good for you. you are there was a time, you remember, there was a time in, in Hong Kong where people were throwing things on, 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 on people. But, with, but, but, our, but ours is a digital version. So you were actually, we actually hit you. And that, and that particular bullet is actually a $100 bill. So we actually have a $200 product. But if you, if, if you re receive that, and then let's say, let's say, let's say I, I have my phone, and then beep, 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 I, I actually have that SMS. And, uh, I actually see, wow, this is $100. But you need to find a TSL shop within 15 minutes. Otherwise, otherwise it, will, it, will, it will be gone. It's a true gift that we give. So, so, so people, just, people, people have to come in and, and actually grab it. So, but this is a Wednesday afternoon. So, so not, bad, not, not, that, not that many people were there. But it's such a big place and such a very expensive area where, where, where we have. So we actually use the technology to find that particular person. And then when they come in. OK, in our, in our shop, we actually have a model. Uh, basically, this is, this is a sales funnel, which in the MBA school they would teach you. Basically, there are neat leads where, let's say, when we, when we broadcast a t television uh, a commercial or television show, let's say we, we, last year we do, a, we do a television show, Sun Cup Sao Jok, which anybody have seen that? Yeah, that was, a quite, that was quite, 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 a, quite a good show. But how many of you have, have after seeing the show, decide to actually, tomorrow, the day after, go, go into a shop to actually buy something? OK, the rich of the show, the leads, uh, let's say this is TVB. So this might be 3 million people. But after 3 million people, it generates some opportunity. And it generates maybe they are interested to actually come in. But the TV leads are actually, this is a, this is a very big thing. But the waste stage in, in advertising, they actually have something called waste stage. The waste stage is actually very high. Because many people, out of the 3 million people, maybe 10 decide to actually come in tomorrow. But Think about the, 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 the sniper bullet. When we hit you, and we, when you are in Wong Kong, when, when this is a $200 thing, th there's a good chance that you actually come in. We actually, I, I think at that point of time, we actually uh, have a, about, about, about a 10%, 6% to 10%, uh, 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 within 15 minutes, people will actually come in. So the, 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 the lead, from the lead to actually to the conversion, to the potential customer, the, the rate is actually much, much higher. And we were using new technology to actually drive it. And in our store, it, it actually works like this. When you are in there, we actually have a 40 to 50% uh, conversion rate. Conversion rate is another part, which is, which is about here, where when you walk in, about every two person, one person will actually buy, which is, which is pretty good for, for, for my team. But the problem is you need to bring people in. So this is a very simple tool. The sniper, the sniper actually shoot the, shoot the right person. And then we were paying $100 plus the SMS is about 70 cents. So $100.70 for a person to actually come in. And then after they come in, we, are actually be, uh, we, we actually be able to actually sell them something. 
uh, this might be uh, Jokam uh, Go that, that, that they want. This might be something because a lot of the free walkers uh, coming in from China, the, the Jiaohang, they usually, they usually, one of their most important buying, buying uh, ticket, buying things is actually on, on jewelry and on gold. So to them, they were, they were in Mong Kok looking for these things. But because of the $100 potential, they actually walk in. So this actually, it's a simple way where we actually use operation and to make a very simple difference where we actually focus on to, 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 to actually do it. So this, uh, these are actually tools that we actually look into. We actually use the interesting technology where you have to be roaming. You have, be, uh, you have to be in Mong Kok using a China mobile roaming, roaming, roaming card, either roaming on CSL or Smartone or, or Hutchison. Then you, you actually receive the SMS. Those are, those are the models, those are the things, those are the techniques that we can use creatively to actually convert and bring in people to, and do it very, very relatively cheaply. Also, interestingly, why, why we're doing it on a Wednesday afternoon, because, because that's, that's the time when there's not much sales anyway. So we actually use these tools to actually generate new, new opportunity using, using these tools and so on. Traditionally, if this is an MBA class, this is a simple uh, EDM, electronic direct, direct marketing tool, and then we shoot the right person and then bring them in. Normal EDM return rate is about 0.1%. But we're doing about 6 to 10%. So we're doing quite good. It's an interesting tool that we actually use. But after we bring you to, the, to our store, uh, this, is our, this is one of our store in Mong Kok, uh, the, the, one, the one that I was, I was trying to show you on Google Map. And basically, when you, when you walk in, uh, because location is such an important thing, how do we design the shop is also one very important thing. Uh, in, in, I think next class, would actually, we actually have our interior design, these design leaders, uh, Tommy, would actually be coming in to actually share with you how we design shop. But let me give you a simple idea how we actually make a difference by using interesting store designs. This is our store design. This actually is exactly that store, the Mong Kok store. And, uh, okay, at the most expensive area in the whole world, we're at, at, at rent. So you would think, wow, you better cram it with, with storefronts so that, so, that, so that you can really maximize the, the, the sales and so on. Okay, when you walk in, this is the street, when you walk in from Nathan Road, uh, we actually have two, 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 uh, two stalls that you actually come in here and then these are the small, the small counters. And these counters are usually the lower cost item so that, so that when, you, when you walk in, when you walk by our store, you actually see people out being, being there. But very, very interestingly, in this very, very expensive store, we actually have a small, small sofa area, which is not being supposedly, you would think, wow, if this is about efficiency, this is very, not very efficient. Why would you want a sofa area where, where supposedly it's not doing, doing sales, doing, in, doing modern time things that, that, uh, that, that, that Michael was mentioning, just like, just like creating products, uh, uh, creating sales and so on. So when you walk in, it's like this. So selling gold and selling different things and so on. And then uh, a lot of the gold, different, different uh, counters and so on. But we actually have a sofa area in the back. That's actually, that you might say, well, this, this is something wrong, something, something you have done wrong, because this is, so, this is very expensive per square feet. But our, 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 our idea is very, 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 very simple, which I will talk a little bit about oh, uh, at, 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 at a later stage where, we are, where I'm talking about surface. But, this, but the interesting thing is, uh, let's, say, let's say your boyfriend your fiance wants to buy you a, a, good, a good diamond ring for engagement, okay? Uh, you would not want to sit at one of these small, small tables near, near the front where everybody is walking in Nathan Road and then you are actually heckling for, and, and then, and then Gali was, was is actually bargaining for, well, I want 50 for, for the scan, something like that. But this is your very important moment in life. And then, and then you were saying, well, this doesn't make sense because, okay, here, we want people to be bargaining in the sense of we want people to be in the store where you actually feel like it's warm. A store with, with nobody, nobody goes in. A store with somebody, at least you, you feel, feel, feel like comfortably, comfortably coming in. Every small piece, just like the, the Galea Alam, every small piece is actually well designed. So when you come in, okay, this is buying the low cost thing. So when you go with your mother to actually get, get, get the chuk gum for your, for your wedding, that's okay, it's, it's here. But when you, are, when you are going with your fiance, make sure it's not next to Nathan Road where all the dust are worth and so on. You have to be romantic, but at least there's a chance that you actually go to the back and then we actually sit down and then you have a chance, chance to actually look for something that, 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 that's very, very good. We actually have a surface that, let's, let's, say, let's, say, let's say some of our, our Hong Kong store, even our store, some of our store in Shanghai, we actually provide a, a, a proposal surface where we can actually arrange flowers, arrange wedding gowns for a good 
picture immediately right at the right at the spot. And then this can be in our store. This can be somewhere, let's say, in Shanghai, where it's very hard to actually arrange. And then obviously we actually do everything today. If you get engaged, if you get a good ring, you better make sure that it's on Facebook, right? So everybody will know so and, and so on. So so that's part of the that's part of the whole matter. But definitely not here, where where you are somebody's bargaining for fifty dollars. Guys, remember that, huh? Don't 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 do it that way because you that way we remember not not how much you pay for the ring, but 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 who was next door bargaining for the fifty dollars. So so that's how you actually look into the matter. So this actually, again, location is important, but how do you make a difference? Goes down to how your lay, your saw is laid out, how you actually arrange people to be there, to actually uh, arrange the surface, to actually arrange the product, and so on. Retail is detail, but it's also how you actually plan the matter. So this, I, I just choose another store. This actually, it, uh, it's in Zailam. And then the, the store have a have similar concept, where, again, people are walking in. So this is the, this is the within, we, are, we, were, we are within a department store. So this, these are our, our ordinary store. But again, we actually have a sofa area where, where, that, where, where you can really sit down and then take your time, and then really choose something that's important to you. That's something that I think it's very, very important in the sense of, how do you make a difference? Even though supposedly you would think, well, this is very expensive rent. I would rather have, have all of them selling things and so on. But you need to think through how the whole process works. So location, it's one thing. OK. Another thing that I, I, will, uh, I will talk about is about uh, price versus value. And it's something that Michael was talking about, which, uh, which I think makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's actually, uh, it's, well, well, this is. This is modern world, right? So, so it's not, it's not, I use the iPad, so it's not easy to, not, not difficult to actually add that. But I think that jam was, was, is, is actually nice. Where, you, how do you create an edge? How do you create a market? And then how do you create value at the end of the day? Again, do you know what's the difference between price and value in Chinese? Ga qin versus ga jik. Let's, let me throw you a, a story. Okay, we are, selling stones. We basically, uh, stones are stones. So whatever I, whatever I try to show you about all our diamonds and things and so on, it's basically something you dig from the, from the ground. Obviously, I need to explain to our team, I need to explain to you that this is something that very, very special. But it's basically stone. It's basically, actually, if you look into it, there are actually a, a matrix where you can actually calculate how much gold is worth per whatever gram, and then, and then also for diamonds and things and so on. But how do you relate that to other, to other much higher values and, 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 and potentials? So again, what are values and what are costs? Let me tell you a story. I, was in, uh, I, I used to ha handle our, our business in uh, Shanghai. And then I still remember there was a very interesting, good looking Shanghai girl uh, that, was that, that, that actually uh, just come out of school, about 23, about your, your age. Uh, and then uh, one year out of school, something like that, she was, she was, she was working. At that point of time, they, their, their entry Entry level salary is about three thousand RMB. Okay, three thousand. That's that. That was the time when uh, it's only it's not it's only three four years ago. So so okay, and she work and work. Uh, she's very good looking and then uh, dressed very well. Uh, many guys chasing him. Uh, which father? So she have two very good very go karts and Pentium karts and so on. But she worked very very hard. She worked she worked for three months. Uh, and and three three thousand per month, and spend about six thousand RMB to actually buy a small chain for herself. Okay, I I was I was there at the shop, and then and I, I was I I was actually asking her. Well, it's so easy to say I want this. Can you get me that? And there will be enough guys to actually get 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 get, get her the stuff, right? Or go go to the father and say I want this, and then and or just take out the car to actually buy it or something like that. But it's actually very, very interesting. She actually told me that actually affects me a lot on, on, on how I rethink about what we are doing. She actually tells me that this is my zila, this is my independence. And I work for it. I work very hard for it. I obvi obviously, I can still go out and actually ask these guys to, to actually buy me things. But this is special. I will leave this for my daughter. OK, this is stone. Stone is something that you actually take from the ground. So it can, it's basically stone. But on the other hand, to that particular person, what price freedom? What price independence? 
what price a young girl feeling that I don't need to be independent on, on, on somebody else? You are in School of Arts, so you might actually recognize this chart. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Basically, when you look into it, okay, uh, the, 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 the lower level, basically, it's, it's life and death. Basically, you need to survive, you need to uh, eat, and, and to survive, you, you, have, you have safety, and then you start having a better lifestyle, and things and so on. But if you think about independence, where do independence rate? So, interesting. Stone, you created or bought at the right time as a gift to, to yourself, can be somewhere really up there. It's actually self-actualization. Can actually means a lot of things, but it, only to her. It, it would be different. The value would actually be different for different people. But that's the interesting thing. Even though the product has a fixed price, the product being done or the service being done at the right time would actually create unlimited value. The value goes to her daughter. And that's something that's really worth thinking. And that's, that really enlightens me when, I, when, when, when she tells me that and changed my whole point of view of how we are selling stones. Because it's act, it's act, it's, that's why I would, I would try to teach the guys not to do it the wrong way, but to do, do it the right way, because it's actually, it can mean a lot of things. If you dance the wrong way, it can, it can goes, a long, uh, uh, goes a long way to, to the other end. That's the key. It's actually not the product. It's actually how you actually deliver the product. It's actually how you actually package the whole matter to actually, you can say this is marketing, but this is beyond marketing. This is really creating important value that's touching Maslow. Uh, self-actualization concept. And it's actually worth thinking. Okay. Okay, then we look, look into product. Okay, uh, obviously, uh, other than how you deliver the thing, how you actually position your shops and things and so on, it's very, very important that, that you actually be able to actually uh, do, uh, do, do product differentiation uh, in business terms. And since, since we are in the jury the, uh, class, I need, to, I need to teach you some basic stuff on, on jury. So Michael was tell, t t telling something about the four Cs. Let me talk about the four Cs of diamonds. And this, this is online, so you can go to Wikipedia to actually check it out. But basically, the whole concept, it's diamonds are measured by four Cs. And then basically, the, the, I, I, one is actually how it's cut. So there's all these, uh, all these uh, specialty, you need to actually take a course to actually, to, to actually understand what's going on, uh, what kind of cutting. That normal, a normal perfect cut diamond is actually 58 facets, so how it's cut. And then after, after you cut it right, it's actually uh, fresh very well. So it's usually balanced, and, then, uh, and cut actually have different kind of cuttings and so on. So there are waiting for it. So different rating give, uh, affects how much, uh, how much it's worth. OK, color. Color, obviously, is, uh, it, it, it's very important. For, to Chinese and to Asian people, what the color is actually very important. So color, they have a scale. And DNF is actually uh, colorless. And then, uh, and then to a little bit light color and so on. So, so there are different colors and so on. To Chinese, again, being here, it's very, very important. This is very, very rare. This is very, very hard, so very expensive. But he, over here is actually some of, some, some of the things that people are looking for. So uh, think about the, so think about the, uh, the normal Normal, do we have a pen? Oh, we actually have chalk. Do you actually still use chalk? How do you chalk write on chalk? <laughs> Sorry, okay, okay. Uh, let's, say, let's, say, let's say the area chart, the att attribute chart that you may have seen. So, so color is one of them. Cutting is another. Okay, let's go on. Uh, clarity. Clarity actually means that because, it, because it's natural, it's multi, multi, hundred, hundred and thousands of years and, 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 and so on, it actually might have some thought in there. Actually, in a way, I actually think that it's actually good to have some thought because now there are technologies that make faultless uh, diamond. But basically, if, if it's really something that you actually dig up and through, through the process for thousands of years, it actually makes sense to actually have a little bit. So, so when you go and buy, the, 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 the girls will understand, oh, I want the VVS2 or VVS1, which actually talks about the characters and so on. But frankly, you actually need a very big, uh, a uh, loop, uh, 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 a microscope to actually, to actually see it. But it, this, is, this is another way to actually calculate. In the four ways, clarity usually is the less important. Okay? Obviously, the fourth one is how big it is. Obviously, we, we all know. And, and, then, and then it actually ties with the fifth C's of diamond, is how much cash you have. So, so how much cash you have, it actually dictates 
what, what you actually do. So this actually, it's how the product is actually categorized. So it's actually how, how, big, how big it is, usually how much money you have, decide how, 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 how big it's bought. Uh, and, and normally, we, we, we argue that every girl in their whole life at least should have a one carat. So yeah, that's something that we should talk about in, in university, right? So, so, uh, so carat again, requires a loop. Color, it's very, very rare, and, and, it's, and it's rated very, very high. So people really want white color diamonds. Cutting is also important. Usually it's 58 uh, uh, facet. OK, this is the four Cs. OK, and uh, let's talk about our product. So OK, but the problem is it's, there are weightings. So there are clear weightings. There are VVS2, and then what, color, what size, and so on. Everything is actually measured by the left brain, where every diamond can actually be measured. So if this is all, all measured and, and there's a price to it, then how do you make a difference? Again, today we're talking about making a difference. How do you make a difference? Since it's something that's so, you, so straightforward. We want to create that feeling that, that it's, it's unique. But on the other hand, it's so straightforward. Obviously, if you, if you give it a, the right way, let's say it might associate with love and independence and so on. So, so, so that actually creates that value. But looking at the product, how do you differentiate it? Okay, let, let me talk about our product. This is our, our, our fashion product. It's called Estrella. I actually bought one today, so I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will show you. It's, uh, it's based simple. This is the best of the best. So all the top rating, it's very, very high. So, so basically the concept, this is called Gaussamia Fa, you may have heard of it. Heard of it. And it's a, it's a patent product that, that, that we own at, at TSL. So basically, as you see, you can see nine hearts, nine hearts. And then in the middle, there is a, there is a flower. The cut, it's so nice that actually it, it, you, can, you can see that in, in, a, in a microscope. You can see that it's actually nine heart and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and an arrow. And it's basically, it's, it's a hundred cut. Normal concept is that, is that, let's say 58 cut is a normal, normal diamond. And then if it's more cut, usually it means that when light, the same amount of light, this is physics, when, mo the, when, when, when the same amount of light goes in, because there are more cuts, it actually will be more fascia. So I will show you later on. OK, the concept here is actually this is the best of the best. So we actually have had the best of the best. And when your fiance buy you the product, this is the package. I, usually, I, 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 I like to say there's no way you sneak it into the house that nobody knows. You can try to put it next to the shoe box. But this is the product. So. And obviously, think about the shoebox. OK, the guys have all the, all the Gundams and models at their, at, at their, at their shoebox, and, and the girls have the shoes, right? But this is another shoebox you actually take out once in a while. And this is when your guy. <laughs> this is Will. So, so la later on, after, after class, you can come on and see. So, so, so but this, this actually, it's uh, the best of the best product. So, so it actually, it's not something simple. So if your guy give you. Uh, engagement ring in a small red bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, but for the guys, we also have some stuff. This is the loop that would actually allow you to actually see the nine hearts. So later on, when you come up, you actually, you actually, but using using the microscope, you actually be able to actually see the nine the, the, the nine hearts and the, and 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 the flower. Actually, the girls don't care. The guys will say, do you know now that there's this different for, of, of this diamond from the other diamond? <laughs> See, there are two kinds of buyers. Some are the rational buyers that they, that they like to talk. Do you know the iPhone actually have an M7 chip that actually runs that when you're running, that actually, actually takes care of, and it knows how many steps you're work, walking on? Do the girls care? They, they only think about what case I am using my Samsung Galaxy <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually with, right? So, so to the girls, it's, wow, this is something I can bring back to my, to my, to my office tomorrow. But on the other hand, it's, uh, this whole package actually goes together. And obviously, oh, let me be careful with that. <laughs> Otherwise, it will be a very expensive class we have. So OK. And because of, uh, because of all, the, all the numbers, uh, all, the, all, the, all the certification that we talk about, we actually have all the certification, and we have laser mark on the on the particular diamond, so it's unique. It actually tells you how, how what what's the size, and then uh, what color uh, is it, if it's a VVS two. But the whole concept of an Estrella diamond is that it's actually the best of the best. Our job is to go and find one out of let's say fifteen, 
or of all the good diamonds to actually find one of these out to actually allows you to actually get that unique diamond that actually goes for your engagement. Good? Okay, you can take, take a look later on. Let me make sure all the insurance is done right. Okay. No, okay, this is the Australia experience. So it's the whole thing. Obviously, when you, when, if you don't want to sneak it into the home, we actually give you a small bag, and then you can actually go and go do your engagement first, and then you can always come back and actually pick up your, pick up your large box, okay? And then, and then the girls can actually sometimes go to their closet and actually say, oh, this is something uh, uh, that you can remember, and actually go on and so on, okay? The Australia experience. Okay, basically, ordinary diamonds usually, uh, uh, when, you, when you buy in the market, have good color, good cutting, let's say four stars, different, different things and so on. And then, but for Estrella, our, our whole job is actually to go out there to actually find the best color, the best cutting, the best, the best clarity, and the best size. Obviously. <laughs> okay, so okay, the best of the best. This, this actually, it's a very simple proposition. How do you make a difference? Go out there, find the best product. And then this is very difficult because it, it takes 5,000 years to actually f form one of those things. And then you actually go, and go through the process to actually find it and so on and actually create that uniqueness so that when it's, it's given as an as a engagement, uh, it actually means something. Okay, but that's, you would say, well, that makes a lot of sense. The whole, the whole package type thing that bring in the whole experience force you to actually go through the process. And then if, 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 if the guy tried to sneak this out and, and you, were, you, were, you were watching the moon and then you were saying, oh, yeah, can you marry me or something like that? That's, that's, something, that's something that you actually go into the whole process. Okay, but you would say, okay, this makes a lot of sense because this is the best of the best. But the best of the best, obviously, it's, it's one way of differentiating yourself. But it's, it can be expensive, but it means something. So it's, uh, is it about cost or is it about value, right? Think about value, right? Okay, <laughs> product differentiation two. What if there are other products? What if there are needs to actually have other products? that actually might be different. Let's say not in the engagement environment. Let's say uh, something different. Again, we want to make a difference. How do you make a difference if it's something that's so fixed where you have all these attributes that actually measure that? Okay. We actually have another product, which actually use Sunflower as the concept. You would, never, you would not find in the whole world, other 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 product, other diamond product, which actually use sunflowers as its, as its logo, because sunflower usually is are, are yellow, right? So so you want white stuff, right? So why would how would you actually associate sunflower with diamond? Okay, sunflower actually can be can means many things. Sunflower actually can means uh, youth, uh, naiveness. Uh, freedom. Uh, so this actually, it's our, it, oh, oh. this actually is, is, our, is, our, is our training material. So this is our product. Hong yeah, yeah, Sam. So, okay, this product is actually designed as a sister product to Estrella. Estrella is the star in the sky. Estrella in in Spanish means the star, the shining shining star. Star, shining star. Obviously, it's white. But how would your how would your yellow works? So the whole concept is like that. This this product have one one three cut. So the cutting is actually differentiated. Instead of the normal fifty eight cut, is actually have almost double the cuts. And then this product is actually very interesting because it have more double the cuts. Remember the, the last the last picture you have seen. It actually here it actually looks very very a lot of small farfan that you will see on the product, and it actually looks very very interesting where it actually associates with a totally different value. Let's say the engagement value is one, but let's say this is about youth, this is about a hot sun, this is about the uh, sun. In, in Spanish, it actually, uh, sol actually means sun, and, but in Italian, it actually means you are the only. So, so it actually means a little bit different. And then using that, uh, we associate it with the sun, which is warm, which is shiny, which is eternal, which is youth, which is energy. And we also associate that with, uh, with again, bright and shiny, morning, alive, and beauty. This actually is a very interesting product that we actually create. This product sells very, very well. And it's designed in a way where it's actually, it's designed for younger people. Where color 
might be a little bit less important. Think about color. When would you think the most important time when, 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 the, when the yellow color actually comes to you? It's actually when, when, when I have 50 diamonds all in, in, all, in, all in the shelf. Then you'll see this particular one is actually a little bit more yellow. But usually at home, you won't have that 50 diamond to actually compare <laughs> with, right? So, 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 so when, you, when you're there, you'll say, mm, it looks the same. It's, it's not difficult to look the same because I arranged 100 diamonds there, right? So, 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 so it's actually, oh, and all of them, let's say it's with the H color, that which is a little bit more yellow. But on the other hand, because of that, we actually can create a different kind of product. Again, making a difference. I won't dig into too much detail today. But the whole concept now, it's, let's say the best of the best is so simple. But it's so difficult to actually find this, this Estrella. But on the other hand, for, for other products, there are different things. There are, this is Happy Diamond. This is something that you might actually want to actually award yourself. This is something that I'm on a trip, and then, and then I actually go, go, go to southern France and see good fields for flowers and things and so on. Or if you go to, uh, go to Sao Paulo, you might actually be seeing uh, all these flowers and so on. And we actually uh, one of one of one of the things that we are, we are actually doing is actually when you uh, when we actually have a draw where we actually allow lucky draw we actually uh, uh, award people to actually go to Sapporo to actually see the flowers and so on so so the, but the concept here is actually how do you make a difference and then usually uh, sometimes it's the best of the best but sometimes you actually use other ways to actually do it so this again it's all left brain but on the other end how do you differentiate different things is actually you look, look into the different method to actually create that matter this is almost exactly like like uh, the eel uh, rice that Michael was talking about. It's actually, because it's actually designed to be a low-cost product, but it's a, it's a eel, eel rice. And eel rice, if you're in Japan, it costs you 5,000 yen, so that's $500. Uh, or now it's $300, but on the other hand, still compared to $30 that you, act, you can actually get it from, from Dagalo. It, but it's different, because, but, but it's still, still eel rice. So it's actually interesting. How do you actually create product and that actually differentiate yourself. And that's something that's worth thinking. So we were talking about location. We are talking about how value versus uh, 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 price. And also, we are talking about how to, uh, how to differentiate products. OK, then we want to talk about uh, uh, surface. OK, surface is simple, because uh, we, are, we are actually the top surface people in the world, in, 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 in Hong Kong uh, uh, and in Asia. Yeah, yay! Yeah, we're 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 moving out of moving out of Asia, but Asia is not bad. So for the last three four years, we actually win the uh, retail management award for for uh, for for retailers best surface. Best surface is, is very difficult to win because they actually have mystery shoppers, where they pretend to be customer and actually come to your shop and then they 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 test you. So so they actually go through the whole process to see how it goes and so on. Every major brand in Hong Kong actually go through this whole process, but for the last few years. We have been winning quite a lot of these and so on. So, and then we actually are uh, actually setting standards for, for Asia. Uh, I think I think last last few years we have been getting 100 marks as a top mark. We are getting 96, 97, and so on. Okay, but that's if this is 30 years ago, that's very good because because then 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 we are then then we are really leading the pack and so on. But this year, even though for the last few years I, I don't think this is luck. It has to be very good. We have to we have to attend to a lot of details. But our competitors are almost there. So we are doing about 97, they might be doing 95. And then you should and then it's 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 not far from they are. This is Hong Kong. This is the best service city in the whole world where, where you actually go and buy things. People care about you, think about what you need, and then just talking about user-centric, it's not enough. So so let me think different. Let me try to use a good example that I learned from uh, from Apple. Uh, how do you think different? OK, the normal concept now is that, OK, when everybody is doing the same thing, being offering good service, then just doing good service is not enough. And how do you actually go beyond, and actually beyond good, beyond the 96th tile, and actually go beyond? So how, how, how does that work? Let me, let me, let me explain. Let me, let me share with you a, a, uh, a, an experience. This is my last iPad, iPad mini. So I actually, this is last year, early last year. I actually bought it, uh, bought it uh, at, at Apple Store. This is the new iPad mini when it comes out. So, but six days after I bought it, I dropped it onto the floor. Because, because they don't have, the, they don't have the, uh, the cover ready, because they, they, they shift the device, but they don't have it. So I just drop it onto the floor, and then it, and then it cracks. OK? What would you do? You cry, right? 
I just actually, I actually was thinking, I actually have to think, I was saying, oh. <laughs> okay, what will you do? You go to Apple Store, right? So, so that was the time when Apple Store was, was actually starting over. This is in Festival Walk. Uh, so I, was, I actually went to, I went to Apple Store. Uh, and I actually went there, and then right in the front, you have all been to the Apple Store, right? Apple, Apple Store is actually a big challenge to all the retailers in, in the whole world. Apple actually deliver a very good uh, uh, surface level, and they actually deliver a very good return also. But let's focus on the surface. They actually have a very interesting way to actually measure how, how surface is done. So when I was there, I was thinking, jin jin gang gang, I was saying, well, what do I do? And then I, I just paid $4,000 for this thing, so it might cost me $3,000 to actually replace it. That would be too bad, but I still need to pay it, right? So, so, so I was there. And then I was there, and then some, somebody naturally come to me and say, what can I do for you? Uh, sir. And, and I said, well, I, I just dropped this thing, this, this iPad mini, and, and I mm, well, said, well, well, so can, I, can you fix it? Something like that. Uh, he, he said, do you have an appointment? I said, well, what, what's an appointment? He said, oh, you don't have an appointment. I was saying, wow. I was, see, my heart was actually dropping already. <laughs> so so what, what's an appointment? He said, no, but OK, you don't have an appointment. It doesn't matter. Let me check. We might have, we might have a slot for you. So in the back, he came back two minutes later. He said, we actually have a, have a slot for you. So come to my queue in the, in the back. And I was saying, what can you do? Can you, can you help me replace this thing? Can we be good? I was, saying, I was trying to explain to him. He said, you, you don't have to explain to me, but let me look at it. Mm, let me lock in you with your Apple ID. Let me check if you, uh, if, if, if you have done it before or something like that. So obviously, I haven't. So, so, uh, so, 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 so I was saying, OK, uh, can I replace it? He, and, 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 he, and this, the, the second guy, actually, he bring me to the second guy, and the second guy is a girl. The girl actually say, hmm, this actually is not exactly a spider web crack. I, I've never heard of that word before. So, so this is what a spider web, I, I actually go to Google and say, what's a spider web crack? Okay, this is my crack. This is a spider web crack. So, so let's say when you are a guy, when you put this in your jean pocket and you jump onto it, sit onto it, then this would happen. <laughs> I just drop it. So I was saying, what's the difference? And, 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 he, and, and, he, and this girl actually tells me that since it's not a spider web crack, uh, crack which I don't know what a spider web crack, crack is, uh, maybe uh, we can replace it. I said, hmm. I, I almost offer that I don't mind paying $2,000 for the replacement, right? Because I actually drop it. So I don't have a slot. Now I have a slot. And, 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 and she was saying, OK, let me check if you have a slot. So uh, and then they tell me all the things about if we don't have a slot, you need to bulk. And then if you don't have a slot, uh, you need to sit there and actually wait for it. And then I said, can I walk around Festival Walk and come back later? No, you need to sit there. <laughs> so I was saying, wow, this is really bad. Does Apple have such a bad service? But naturally, in three minutes, I will actually pass through three person. And, when I, was sit, and when, I, when I sit down with the genius, Apple have a, a genius bar, right? When I sit down with the genius, the guy takes out an iPad mini. This actually is a 64 gigabyte uh, 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 4G version. So at that point of time, you cannot even buy it because it's all out of stock. They actually have one there taking, waiting for me for within that three minutes. And I get it out for free. So because I don't have a spider web crack, I actually have one of these. I don't know what, what it is. OK. I was surprised, obviously. What, what's the first thing you would do? You would take a picture of yourself and post it on Facebook and say, wow, this is something. Let me tell you something. Oh, this is something. I have never seen this experience. Obviously, I, I'm a special person with Apple. So, so people on my Facebook will say, well, you are Irwin. So people, so they recognize you. I, I actually bought the first iPhone. And I'm an official speaker for, for, uh, for Apple for a long time. But I was actually at the store. And then I don't, know, I don't, I don't think they recognize me. And I was thinking, I, I'm going through the normal process. OK, let me go back and analyze what they have done. OK, I don't have a booking. The normal queue have a booking. So this is the normal way of doing. But I, I don't even know if they make this up. But, but basically, I talk about it online, and, and I find some experience online, and so on. And then within, within a few hours after I change it, I receive a mail on, at my Apple ID. And they were saying, are you, are you satisfied with your, with your service? I said, well, this, I, obviously, I'm very satisfied. Can I, how, how can I say more things? Would you recommend your service to other people? See, the way Apple is measuring service, it's not 95, 96 point. Would you recommend this to, to any people? I say I would recommend it to anybody 
and every time that I actually get this. So, so what have they done? They have, create, they have a queue that's normally you need to go through. But you, you were there, and then somehow they make way for you, and that allows you. They actually create an expectation that I might have to pay for it, that above the spider map things and so on, that, that I might feel bad. But on the other hand, somehow when they create that bad expectation, they actually create that positive expectation, uh, uh, that delivery, that over deliver, and then create that surprise moment. This is something in, 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 in new modern management in, 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 in retail. It's how do you create that wow moment where you would go out and say, ah, oh, wow, this is something that I would, I would back up and, and I would say this is very good service. And that's something that, that's worth thinking. I, I actually brought this back to my team and say this is something that we should, we should look into. It's very difficult. How do you design a system that actually works and deliver the, the Galileo Lanfan? But at the same time, so, well, maybe you put a Estrella in the Galileo Lanfan, then it will actually surprise everybody, right? So, so but, but, but on the other hand, how would you still surprise people? by actually creating a very high standard and surprise when they actually do it. In this case, I actually think they actually have a system doing it. I actually go online and actually find out that Apple have a system where every other morning, wh when, we, when we do the survey, I actually write a lot, very long paragraph say, uh, saying that you did very, very well. And then I understand that the next morning, the Hong Kong team will actually look into all the good case and all the bad case. And they would recommend the good case and they would choose every week, they would choose a good case to share with the world. So every week, all the Apple people will actually be sharing, oh, this, these are things that people appreciate. And maybe we improve it, maybe we improve it. Maybe we do some more, some more things to improve it. How do you improve over knowledge and, 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 and a system? This is something that, when I start my speech, this is something that, that's something very, very new. It's, 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 it's not 19th century thinking. It's definitely, you have a quality overall. But how do you break out of the quality to actually deliver not economy of scale, but economy of scope, where the customer is always unique. And that's something that's really, really worth thinking. OK, uh, I'm going to, to, to finish. But one very interesting thing is that I, I, I would like to ask, uh, I, I actually read this article, and I was thinking, why, wh why would you guys want to study a class where, where it's about retailing? Because this is a school of art, right? So, so why would you want to be, do you, do you want to be in retailing? I actually went run, run, run into this, this, this spot last week. And then it's, uh, it's, it's about, it, this is the title. So I was, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a sales at a small uni goal. Do I have a future? This actually is online, you can go and search it. This actually just came out last week. And, and, and this is actually very, very interesting. It actually talks about how this person was in a very small city in, uh, in Japan and uh, he, become, he, he, he actually finished his university studies and he actually went to actually work on one on one of the store at a company at that point of time that nobody knows uh, in 2003. And then, uh, but now he's, he actually has the Hong Kong and China uh, uh, managing director, a uh, CEO for, for, for Unico for, for Hong Kong and China. And Hong Kong actually create quite a few products that are actually completely different and then wins over all the Unico of the world. Unico, this person, uh, Lao Jiang Chang is actually the richest uh, Japanese and the richest person in, J in Japan. So, so, so within that ten years, fast retailing, the company Unico actually grow from a very, very small entity somewhere, somewhere in north, uh, northern part of, uh, of of Japan to become a world phenomena. Actually, interesting enough, look, read, read the article. Interesting enough, it, the idea come from Giordano in Hong Kong. Do you know? Do you, you might know. It's actually quite fast retailing is actually the original word used by Jimmy Lai. Uh, like Jiying when, when he started Giordano. So, so quite interesting. But that, it's a very interesting thinking where uh, do you want to be retelling in the sense of, uh, of it's actually always about making a difference. And then any job, you can be a, a very important job and then not make a difference. But it's, all, it's, it's, it's always about what you look into and then how you actually differentiate. This can be your left brain, this can be your right brain, this can be a very compl complicated comp competition environment. This can be, everybody is getting 96 points, but how do I break out and actually do other things? And, but that's something that's worth thinking. How do you actually, is this, if, you, if you're looking for a career later on, retail is actually a very interesting thing because it's all, it's both left brain and right brain, and, right brain, and you're dealing with a lot of people. And creativity actually kicks in. So making a difference is the thing. Okay, I'm done.